everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Roulette. I'm Johnny Arty, and with me is the fabulous Mr. Fox. Scree! Uh, it's never going to stop, and it's never going to get old for me. Welcome back to Primal, and I uh, know The Mummy is one of the best, like. is the best Brendan Fraser movie. Oh, no, not even close. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No. It's great. Nope. No, The Mummy what? is kind of awful. No, it's not. They're finally making an, a remake of The Mummy that has a chance to be decent. No, it's got Tom Cruise After, in it. What? Yeah. Well, you didn't know that? I mean, like, Tom Cruise can at least... it looked terrible. You know, he, he at least has screen presence. No. I can't remember. Can I get through this yet, or is this later? I don't know. Ow, I triggered a cutscene. You did. Oh. What are those things? These are fair eye. Are those the vape niche? God. No. Giga Sika. Giga Sika. Oh, uh, somebody on a... I guess they're Redditors. They're... They're yeah. looking for nerds. They're fair eye. Geeka Sika. Oh my god. Now I'm playing a scree. Whee! Scree! Wanna see what I can do? No. Too bad. <laughs> I can turn to stone. You can take a dump. Ah! Oh, <laughs> he's a gargoyle! He turns to stone because he's not a combat character. And so he drops some red, drops gravel. Will you please stop talking about poop? No. Wait, oh. wait, wait. No, he's, he's made of stone, right? Yes. He's a gargoyle. Yes. So uh, that we will call this ability shit a brick. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> the worst. <laughs> this is your idea. Huge teeth no, it wasn't. So Doing primal on Let's Play Roulette. Well, yes, that's my idea. That's my that was your game. idea. Oh, no. Playing primal next to me. That, that's the best well, idea. I can't do it by myself. I'll just, you know, get quiet. Well, listen to the cut screens the and have a cut scenes and have mm, a good time. That might be the case, but the important yeah, thing to remember... There's the important thing to remember yeah. is that I'm right about Brendan Fraser. You're not right about Brendan You Brandon haven't Fraser. seen oh, Gods and Monsters. Yeah. It's literally the only movie I've ever seen him give an actual real performance in. Like, The Mummy, he, you know, is like, it's an action movie. Yeah, he's badass action. That is to say, he wanted to break into doing action, and they suckered him into being in a shitty comedy. Yeah. Comedy. I love The Mummy. I just watched it with Lauren when I was over visiting her. And you still like it? Yes, you're I an adult still like now. It. What? You're an adult now. Yeah, and it's a funny movie. And it's got great action. And I love the cast. And the, I love the characters. I like that one guy that's got all the holy symbols. Benny? Yeah. Benny is great. Because I also used to do that. He's the only character in the entire movie that's in any way likable. What? He's a skis ball. Yeah. Let that sink in. How do you not like Evie? How do you not like... I like characters... I'm sorry. I like characters that have personality. She does have personality. She kicks ass. That's not a personality trait. Okay. Here's her personality. She's shy at first, and she grows to be more outgoing. Uh-huh. She loves adventure. Uh, she's a very fast learner compared to the other characters, especially when it comes to writing camels. She can translate ancient text because she absolutely loves language, and she's awesome. That's personality traits. Those, none comments. of those were personality traits. They are. That was a list of things she does. Okay. Kind, caring, okay. smart, uh -huh. capable. All right, those are personality traits. Yeah. There you go. That's Evie Callahan. What is that thing? Ah, They're Malkai. They don't like fire, so I have to get them back so that Jen can come in. Get back, you things that look you almost exactly like me. It should be safe for you to enter. Small point. It's difficult picking me. Should be safe or is playing D and D. It's just challenging the DM. Exactly. Got to back him into a logical. Anyway, so now you have to watch Gods and Monsters because it's an actual really good movie. All right. We'll watch it sometime. And um, it's uh, it's Brendan if Fraser just somehow landing a role where he stars opposite Sir Ian McKellen. Ooh. Um, it is a movie about an American handyman meeting an, a an elderly James Whale. James Whale? The writer and director of Frankenstein. Yes. In his old age. Like. And they become buddies. Well and it is heartwarming. 
and, and beautiful and sad, and it's just it is a great movie. Okay. It is a film. Okay. Is there nothing else in this cave? Just fire. Just fire and a barrel I can kick. Hell yeah! <laughs> kick the ba- I like how the barrels just all unfold <laughs> as though you just pulled all the rings off of them. Right? I got magic kickers. Magic kickers? Yup. I feel like that's what a unicorn's back feet would be on magic one of those kickers. memes. <laughs> yes, where they name things. Yeah, where I they give them funny those. little magic kickers. You know, being small and made from stone has some advantages. Uh, where's this gonna go? Absolutely. I can climb up any stonework surface. <laughs> now that's something that might be useful to us, don't you think? I guess. I guess. Oh, Jim. Scree can climb any sur- stonework surface. Oh, is that what the words he just said means? Yeah. I... I cannot have possibly figured out that was a gameplay feature. Yeah. Come on, Janet. I'm, I'm, make, I'm making fun of him. Oh, okay. I thought you were being serious, and I was like, no. what? I, I'm probably <laughs> not going to be very serious through this whole thing, except when I talk about gods and monsters <laughs> and how awesome Sweet. it is. Could you give me some help here? Gathering, it's awesome. And how what you're talking about. most of Brendan Fraser's movies are stuff like Bedeviled. Okay, Bedeviled was terrible. That movie is garbage and at least with the mummy i can be like whatever that movie's dumb but you can like it but if we had to, if, if somebody says to me you know bedeviled wasn't that bad a movie i will fight them about no, that bedeviled like, was absolutely terrible no what have we here my favorite here one you know what my favorite part of bedeviled is what Uh-oh. when she turns him into a world famous basketball star and the draw, and he's rich and famous. Yeah. And the downside turns out to be he has a tiny penis. <laughs> Who cares? And I'm just like, oh my gosh, with a penis like that, he'll never be able to satisfy his lover. Good thing he's not his lover. Right. <laughs> I'm just like, he's too rich to give a shit what people think of his dick. You know what you do when you have a tiny dick and you're rich? You don't get sad and ask the devil to give you a new life. You build a wall along Mexico. <laughs> Zing! <laughs> Say hello to Hearn, king of the fair eye. He's cute and I love him. I, something tells me that they didn't uh, construct a language for this. Wend M. Jen, Eb M. Ota Jimen Diarella, Eb Hivan Keferai, Ekta Sunset M. Rekba. Hmm. This runt would have me believe you're an envoy of the goddess Arella. You look more like a sniveling half breed to me. I'm sorry, what? I vote we're big enough to swallow the odd insult here. Strangers. In these treacherous times, the guy almost sounds like Keith David. He does. Also, I'm pretty sure that was kind of racist. It is. Trust me, Lord Hearn. We're here but to help you. Help no, me. that's a spoiler. I'm not gonna give that. I You'll find you out in like ten minutes. I suppose you must know the whereabouts <laughs> of my son, then. Well, no. Then you are of no use. Because I mean, like looking at her, I'm like, you know, she could be half Asian. That's not what listen, it is. I do know what it's like to And that's someone. that's not a cool thing to say My to somebody. Lewis was taken from me. But I guess you do what you want when you got I horns like that. Right? Look how majestic he is. He is. Equipped to be helping I love his anyone. cheek horns. Cheek horns? Yep. And you may just he, what the? Uh, he got bone growth. Thanks. <laughs> I what? have no more time for strangers. I shall I call him Lord Stabface. <laughs> His new name is Lord Stabface. Hearn, the horns. stabby facest. The safe Hoop. return of his son. Hearn, he's King on, Hearn of the Fair Eye. Let's find that. this, Jared. He's their chief. Fine, fine, he hasn't abdicated his throne this. because his son is oh. missing, because there's no one to give his oh, throne to. Ah. Who are you talking about? Hearn! I thought that's Jen. Scout ahead again. Oh my god! <laughs> You're the worst! <laughs> I'm pretty sure I could do way worse than that. Oh my god, I'm sure you can. Scream! <laughs> Why? Oh, I hit the wrong button again. There you go. I don't know. Probably should have started a timer for this episode. Probably. Oh well, we we'll just go till we feel long. like it. I know that. What much. you doing? 
It's called a lodestone. They're important. You'll find out later. Tell me now. Oh, one strange critter scree. Why would you just tell now? He's grumbly. My name is Scree. We're gonna go down this path. So I think that's all that's here. I think I have to climb down here. I now. have to climb down this sheer surface because I'm a gargoyle. Like that. Andreas Katzlis has an amazing voice. He's not a goober. Scree's not a goober. He could be a goober. Can Jen just hop down? No. Oh, that's right. I have to get a rope. Okay. Oh, that's right. The earthquakes are happening because the world's kind of coming apart. Oh. Her because Hearn can't abdicate his power. Huh. Because his son is missing. Why doesn't he just abdicate to somebody else? Because that's not how the fair eye work. They'd rather just have the world collapse around them? Well, they, they explain this in the beginning. Like, um... The worlds are built around the traditions of the people who live there. Okay. And this is built around Ferai tradition, which dictates that the clan of kings always passes down their uh, their throne to their sons, like their firstborn son. Uh-huh. And Hearn only has one son, and okay. that is his son Jared, who is missing. Well, if it's got to be their firstborn son, then they're doomed like a thousand years ago. Like the first time somebody's kid like catches pneumonia and dies. I guess that's a fair point. You're right. These people are pandas. They deserve to go extinct. They're not pan pandas. Don't deserve to go extinct. How dare! They kind of do. From an evolutionary perspective. They are fuzzy baby friends. I love them. Boom. Should do the job as a makeshift bridge. Jen over here. It's gonna load because I'm so far away. I mean, I gotta be handed to him. I mean, they hyper specialized, and they <laughs> they specialized to live off of a crop that nobody else would eat because it's full of poison. What? Oh, pandas! Yes, this is true. Um, but their environment has changed, and they're so specialized they can't change with it. So they're kind of things of the past. Oh. Damn it! I don't remember how to get over there. Controversial statements from Fox. I still think pandas should live forever and be cuddly forever. Well, uh, I am a supporter of um, a charity that just gives yeah. guns to pandas. Oh my god, guns for pandas. Yeah, guns for pandas. Jen, get Give off them the a fighting. Rock. Give them a fighting chance against extinction. <laughs> oh. <Thanks. laughs> smashy, smashy. <laughs> I just... Oh. I let you just stop and you're like, ooh, kick. Oh, damn it. I bet one of these is going to have a lodestone or something. Nope, oh, thank goodness. How do I get over there? Son of a bitch. I don't remember how. I got this. I to totally got this. Why do I get the feeling like uh, a lodestone might be like a sex stone? It's not. It refills his energy when he spends it all. When Jen uses it to refill her transformation timer. Ah. Okay, so I can't get down this way. Babe. Oh. What? I can't get down that well. No, the word you just said. I said, I can't get down that way. And then you just made a sound. I said, oh, because I ah. can go out here. It sounded like you said a word. I didn't say a word. Didn't say a word? Did not say a word. Did you know that I have a sex stone over there? What? A sex stone. No. You know how you can tell if it's a sex stone? How? It's just a fucking rock. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, ooh, I, I walked right into that joke. <laughs> uh, oh wait, wait oh man wait. i gotta say i gotta tell that to alex now you know he's got all those like uh alex. those uh geo dilly doodly yeah, doos oh maokai smack i kind of want those guys to win the maokai yeah they're kind of because they're they're cool looking they are cool looking i don't know if anyone can hear this but it should be playing some 16 volt because it is yeah, there it is. That's uh, And I Go from the album Super Cool Nothing. All the songs are from Super Cool Nothing, actually. Useless trivia of the day. <laughs> from somebody who likes 16 stone. 16 volt. And a they're lot. They are great. They are wonderful. I thought, you, I thought you were a really big fan of 16 stone. You're thinking of 12 stones. and <laughs> Actually, I'm thinking of an album oh? by Bush. I, I hate Bush. <laughs> Their Bush's first record was called 16 Stone. Oh. I don't like Bush.
English, so... They've got a couple good songs. I, 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 I don't really like them. I mean, most of their stuff is garbage. Yeah. Because they're basically the nickelback of the early 2000s. Oh my god, you're right, they are. But, I mean, unlike Nickelback, they actually have a couple decent songs. The land suffers eh, as the result true. of Hearn's poor Maybe, judgment. I don't know. I can't think of a Bush Several song that I like. Since he failed to relinquish his I guess own. they're not really quite the... I, uh, they're not quite the Nickelback of their era. Are they the Creed of their era? Eh, maybe. I guess Creed was the Creed of their era. <laughs> Creed was... Well, they were competing with Nickelback. Like, they were the same awful band in the same awful era. But, I mean, like, finding the nickel back of an era is difficult because you have to find a band that isn't actually all that bad, but is so perfectly corporate, like, corporate construction bland yeah, that it just sums up everything that's wrong with pop music of its era. That's why people, like, younger people will never understand why Nickelback was so awful. Because they are not as bad as they, not actually as bad as they are. But they're the perfect corporate shill. They're like Phil Collins. Oh, yeah. Like, Phil Collins is the Nickelback of the 1980s. Like, he is everything that was wrong with pop music, even though his stuff isn't actually that legitimately terrible. It's just super corporate. It's just so, like, everything wrong with the 80s. It is Reaganomics. A door. Yeah, I bet it's closed. I mean, locked. It's obviously closed. Damn. We'll have to find another way in. You know what I don't miss? Locked doors that don't open. <laughs> in video what? games. In video games. And they're like... <laughs> like in Silent Hill, they're like, this won't open. It's locked. Not like you have a key. They're just like arbitrarily or like, you can't come in here. Oh. What that is is they're just, they can't, uh, you know, obviously they can't design every single little room, but they want don't want the walls to be blank. They want it to look real. Well, yeah, but you don't have to be able to activate them. What would would you like for them to just have a thing that's like, this is a fake door? No, like you just go up to it and nothing happens. You're just like, oh, I can't get in. Okay. Oh, I know where I am. Um, the lower intestine. Oh, and the fair eye burrows. Come on. Well, I'm gonna go smash these barrels. Up oh, there's some more of those That's scary fellas. Not his voice. Fair eye, more fair eye. Yay. They got a lot of mileage out of that face, didn't they? Yeah. We should ask these tribesmen. These guys look like a cross between Ron Perlman's Beauty and the Beast and Alien Nation. Yeah, it's a little proud. Wait, which one? Alienation. I know who Rod Perlman is. Well, his Beauty and the Beast. I know. The, the uh, soap opera he yeah, was in. Yeah, I know. He was Beast, and I know that they based, um, I can't remember his name, but he was a character in Dark Angel, and they based his looks off of the Rod Perlman Beast. He looked very lion like. Yeah. I loved him. Sometimes super ago, the locals cool. Heard a that show was kind of terrible. What, Beauty and the Beast? Yeah. 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 I mean, it was a, it was a lame opera, soap romance. opera. Yeah. But, I mean, it wasn't, like, one of the bad... Like, there are way varying levels of bad as far as soap operas go. Yeah. And this was, like, <sighs> Dark Shadows bad as opposed to, like, Days of Our Lives and its 15th season bad. Oh, my God. That show is still going, I think. And yeah, probably. Yeah. Do they remember, like, they're like, hey, the show's still on. And I'm like, I used to watch this with my grandma. Why is it still a thing? And I'm like, Ugh. last year, they're like, the actor who played Stefano has died. And I'm like, who? Oh, Stefano. Now I actually knew who he was. Like, Stefano was their original big bad, and they kept killing him and bringing him back. Do you remember the show Dallas? No, I never watched Dallas. You never watched yeah. Dallas? Did That show came to a very decisive end. Oh, yeah, I know about the ending because yeah. of something we did. There's, uh... It was, it Joel, was for one thing, Joel Grey was there. I love Joel Grey. As the devil. Aw. Like, legitimately, he was the devil. But wasn't the devil just a dream No, of no, that was a totally different thing. Oh. That was, like, uh, Dallas's like, third or fourth season. They did a whole... That JR got shot at the beginning yeah. of the season. And at the end of the season, it was revealed that it was his girlfriend's... Uh, or wife, I don't remember. 
uh, a dream she had. Oh, I thought he killed himself. No. The main, I can't remember his name, the patriarch of their family, at the end of the last episode, kills himself. Oh, yeah. Uh, because the devil does a miracle on, not miracle, what is the name of that? It, it, it takes him on an It's a Wonderful Life journey, uh, but he learns that everybody's life would be bet. awesome if he wasn't around. Oh, wow. And it's like all of the drama and awfulness in their life is because of him so is because he he's away. a shithead <laughs> so at the end he's like all depressed and he like shoots himself in the head you can see him like they put the gun to his at, head in shadow and, then they do and, and, and while Joel uh, I can't remember his name now Joel Gray yeah while Joel Gray laughs I mean to be fair if Joel Gray told me to do something I'd do it in a higher rate um, I <laughs> would uh stay to see I would stay because it's cold outside but inside it's so hot that they have to fight to keep all the girl or to tell all the you know to keep all the girls from taking their clothes off what? I would if he told me to stay to see if they lost the battle tonight I would uh, are you making a cabaret reference I am making a cabaret I, I always so. always make you know he's saying uh, Wilkeman on the Muppet show I did not they changed the lyrics of course they did <laughs> They changed some of the lyrics, uh, and it was a really phoned-in, lame performance, but I watched it anyway. Welcome and bienvenue. Welcome. Jen? Okay, she's coming. Swap. 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 Scream! No! God damn it, no! <laughs> I found a rift game. I think I, heard a, I think I hear mice fighting. Yeah. I sure do. Of the Nexus Where'd our stupid cat go? He went downstairs with you. Before what? Yeah. A lazy joker. He is what lazy. What a jack and any. He's an old lazy baby. So Basically, a this is a rift gate fall. outside of the Nexus. Okay. And to power it, we gotta spin these wheels. This is a... Okay, so basically this is a uh, Stargate. Yep. Okay, SVU. This has been activated, so I don't have to use it. Uh, there we go, triangle. Continuing on. Oh, nope, not this. All the tears <clears throat> are ripped gate. I watched, like, three minutes of Stargate SVU. SGU. It's really good. Um, it's the only Stargate I like. Sorry, what were you going to say? And, uh, I, wa it wa I wasn't too impressed with it, but I watched, Locked. like, three minutes. It was, like, the tail end of an episode. Yeah. And they were like, we stole a nest ship or something. Something, something, Fair. hive ship. I don't remember being a hive ship. I, I don't know what it's called. They were just like, are we going to shoot this alien vessel? And then the captain's like, yo, it's us. We stole it. Yeah. And they're like, oh, let's not shoot it then. We don't want to kill our buddy. And he's like, what are we going to do with our it's brand funny, new because hive ship? Most of the plot of uh, Stargate Universe is Captain Young being like, I'm going to hurt my buddy, and beating the shit out of Rush for various reasons. Um. I don't like Young, in case anyone was wondering. I oh, doubt no. it, because nobody knows anything about that show, because nobody watched it. <laughs> it's a good show. I wish more people watched it. Hang on. I get to kick this. Yup. I wish more people watch Babylon 5. That's true. But they don't. Womp womp. Instead, people watch garbage like Battlestar Galactica. I've never seen Battlestar Galactica. I've never been interested. I watched some Babylon 5 with you. Okay, That's really good. They've got aliens that play that cheat at cards with their penis. Oh my god, what? You know the guys with the crazy this hair? Yeah. They have seven penises. It's oh my god. Three of them are prehensile. Oh my god. <laughs> it's actually um it's actually a big thing in their culture. The more penises they use during sex, the closer the couple is. Wow. Um uh, so because they're prehensile, at one point the ambassador yeah. from their uh on on Babylon 5 cheated at a game of cards. <laughs> Using his Don't just penises. stand there. This thing weighs a Amazing. ton. Amazing. Yeah, it was the best. I love him. What's our time looking like? Oh, probably way over this episode. All right. Well, I am in a cave, and a I think cave. I will cut it there. Beep.
Be sure to hit like and subscribe if you want to see more from this kick-ass game that is just about to start kicking off. Uh, go ahead and leave us a comment. Let us know how we're doing. Questions, comments, concerns, complaints, outrages, etc. You know the drill. And we will see you next time. Hey. What? Don't tell me what to do. <laughs>